Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Aston Villa, new manager bounce. My God, why is, why is this new manager bounce always a thing? Like, isn't Good evening. It, it's getting a bit stupid mm. now, isn't it? Like They just beat United 3-1. They got a new manager right. bounce from... 13 minutes, two goals. They got a new manager bounce the first time from Sack and Gerrard. They did. Yeah. From the random bloke. Like, manager what? bounce before the new manager... Just sack arrived. a guy every week. Yeah, <laughs> is that, why is that thing? I don't get it. I just think, because you feel like you got a fresh start. Well, if you're a player, you're like, ah, oh, just go at it. Yeah, Rather than, it's like the form has disappeared yeah. sort of thing. Mm. Your, your manager has no preconceptions of how you are, so that you have yeah. the freedom to play. Well, every time I play Bailey in FPL, he then gets no points. But every time I bench mm. Bailey, he gets points. He's, he's literally the same as Andreas, isn't he? Really? He does me head in. He's on yeah. my bench as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Captain yeah. Cancelo bench Bailey Andreas. Yeah. <laughs> Not ideal. But good evening. 1-3-1. Uh, one, one. Villa- I'm, more, I'm more impressed with the fact that Villa scored three goals yeah. under Emery. I mean, that's a lot of goals for Unai Emery. Do you think United were bad or Villa were good? Combination? Is that, is that, a, is that so easy? It's yeah. a cheat code. It's Although to be out. fair, the what the first goal, the second goal, like United can't really do much about them. Oh, have you seen that the wall was really far away for the free kick? Too far away. Is that for oh, Luke, Luke Shaw's free kick? Yeah, but people are very angry about it. Wait, no, no, not Luke Shaw's free kick. Who's no, um, Dinier, uh, Dinier. yeah, Dinier, yeah. Dinier, Dinier, the other left back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. apparently, and well, you see the picture, and it is very far away. Take nothing away from the free kick, though. No, oh, yeah. I feel like De Gea could get there. Really. It's like it's in the middle of the goal, as in like height wise. Yeah. It's quite a far out free kick as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, what was he doing in that yeah. time? <laughs> he was just coming to the goal. <laughs> just having a little sticky. Um, Ronaldo was captain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tom Garrett's loving it. Captain Man United, and they play like. Shit. But is, is it his fault they lost 3 1? No, it's not his fault. No, but like. He was their best rated player. Was he? Apparently so. No, I feel I don't know if he's did a full orbit wrong. What, according to Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, well, I saw something. It was like he did the thing where you know he walked off early um, and then sort of was out the team for like a thing, and they were much better. Just don't play him. You don't have to oh, play. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I, 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 just, I think he's detrimental to you know. Yeah. It just, just just don't play him. It's fine. Yeah. I, I just, it seems like a really easy decision. Apparently, by the way, so during the game, United kept trying to like do deep crosses into Ronaldo to try and score but they just kept failing and apparently Ten Hag just like well, that's not his plan so he mm. called this stupid after the game and criticised the players for failing to follow his rules yeah. does this show that Ronaldo is a detriment to the team absolutely because yeah. people feel like they feel a need to give him the ball you would right if you played with Ronaldo <laughs> I, I, you're sorry Ron straight, straight cap. you have to straight yeah, cap. if you are a football player you can't see Ronaldo as Ronaldo you have to see him as just Man. another player mm. and that's what I would do just have a cog in the machine uh, after the game I'd then also be like but you can clearly tell because he's what Garnacho as well you've got, you've got, you've got fanboys fan of the guy yeah Garnacho is such a fanboy yeah. he's also very fortunate to be learning under Ronaldo and Messi yeah, he's got he's got the best of both. Of us, I've, uh, it was tragic. Is his in... name Hovis Garnacho? <laughs> uh, what? Hovis Garnacho, best of both. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's a joke. Isn't I it? only eat sourdough bread, so I wouldn't wouldn't know. You are from East London. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just decided it has my stomach less, so <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I can eat more it's of it. Good for the gut. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why I was like, "What's the yeah. best bread?" Because I really yeah. like bread. Really, and yeah, yeah, it's really good. Sourdough is yeah. supposed. Well, I know it is for a fact, but it's like mm. it's, it creates good, good gut microbes. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it. Well, Villa, uh, United, sorry, are playing Villa again on Thursday Ooh. in the Carabao Cup. Do you think United get their revenge? Uh, is, it, is it still the Carabao? The League Cup. Yeah, it is the Carabao. Yeah. Oh, Carabao Cup, yeah. They still sponsor it, even though yeah, nobody's yeah. ever had one of their own energy drinks ever. I honestly didn't know they were energy drink until you just said it there. Really? Oh, really? No, yeah, they're, they're, while, they're an right? energy drink company that nobody drinks their I just thought they were a gas company or something. <laughs> <laughs> the Eon FA Cup, do you remember that? Yeah, that's what I was mm-hmm. doing in me. I still call it the Carling Cup. Yeah, yeah I the call Carling, it the Carling Cup. Yeah. Uh, do you think United get the revenge? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think they do. I don't really feel like I have a, so a, bad a reason for that. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, uh, they would have learned, from, he'll be really angry and they're playing them again. So it's tight, you, they can oh right, right the wrongs. That's, if, if that's the difference and they end up winning. And, and I mean, Villa was still, I, I saw a court like the first half, but they were still quite like under the cosh. Yeah. So I, I feel like, I feel like Ronaldo won't be pissed off if he doesn't play because he's got a World Cup coming up. 
That's true as well. Yeah, Messi, he won't. He won't, he won't play that way. Of an injury, has he? Really? Yeah. So I. So after the after the Juventus PSG game, I was a bit like, "What the hell is going on here?" Messi went straight down the tunnel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "That's not acceptable." If Ronaldo did that, you get fucking slaughtered. Yeah, you called him out, didn't you? I did call him out actually. Yeah. I said, "How dare you?" Because he didn't. It's not the fact that he went down the tunnel. Mm. It's the fact that he didn't he even did. shake any of the Juve players' hands. And he didn't say the entire PSG team went over to the PSG fans and correct looks. They were quality the whole game. Did, but he didn't shake any of the fans. And everyone's now defending him. Like, oh, but you had an injury. It's, he walked perfectly fine down the tunnel. He played 90 minutes. He could have stayed, stayed an extra 30 mm. seconds to shake his opponent's hand. He doesn't, what is the injury? Some Achilles tendon thing. Ooh. Hopefully he's all right for the World Cup. Mm. I think he's going to be rested until the World Cup now. Oh, really? Which mm. potentially could mean it's 999 for the World Cup final. And that would be annoying. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so the, the his thousandth game is going to be against like fucking Montpellier? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! 